Hi everyone, welcome back again. I hope everyone has uh, been well rested over the past two hours or so. Um, our next session is going to be on the topic spreading our data further with the Wikibase REST API by Lydia Pincher. My name is Alan Ang from Wikimedia Germany. I will be your facilitator for this session. So as usual, if you have any questions after Lydia's presentation, feel free to raise your hands or write them down in the chat and I will read them out uh, later. So I think we are on time. Let's um, give the floor to Lydia. Lydia. Thank you very much, Alan. Yes. Um... One of the very exciting things that's been happening around uh, Wikidata, as I mentioned earlier today, is the new REST API for Wikibase. And I want to give you a bit of background on that. So the first question is, of course, why do we need a new uh, API for Wikibase? And basically, we really, really, really want Wikidata's data to be used to build amazing applications, be it funny ones, be it educational ones, be it quirky ones, um, niche ones, more people should be using our data to build applications, right? Um, and I think that's what we what we all want. And the same is true for other Wikibase instances, of course, uh, not just uh, Wikidata. Now, the problem is that for many reasons, this is hard. And uh, one of the reasons this is hard is that um, people are having problems uh, with our Action API. So that is why we are uh, building the new Wikibase REST API and have released it in a first new version. So with this new um, REST API, we want to provide an API that's a bit more industry standard, and versioned um, so people can access and manipulate data in Wikibase who in, in ways that might be more familiar with them if they are used to other uh, APIs outside of MediaWiki. Um, we also wanted to provide an API that is a bit more tailored to the Wikibase data model. So it should know about things like items exist and properties and they have statements and they have labels and things like that which the Action API kind of does, but it was a bit shoehorned into the API that was built for um, Wikipedia's text initially. And besides that, we wanted to solve a few bugs and other issues in the uh, Action API that are just easier for us to fix uh, in a new REST API. And ta-da. <laughs> Here's the uh, current state of the new REST API that you can already work with. Uh, it's live on Wikidata. And uh, once I put the slides on comments, you can also uh, look at the documentation and everything and see all the different API endpoints that you will have access to. Now, with this new API, what you can, can you do already today? You can get um, the data for a single item or property you can get their labels, their descriptions, their aliases, either in all the languages that are available or just one particular one. Um, you can get the data for uh, particular statements or all the statements of an item or property. You can modify the data in within a single statement on an item or property. And you can modify the labels and descriptions that are on an item and property. So it's already pretty powerful. Now, if you are familiar with the REST API, there are a few things that are a bit different. Um, let me dive into them. The first thing um, that might be new to you is in the uh, Action API, which is on the left here. Uh, we talk about claims. In the new REST API, we talk about statements, um, which is a bit more familiar to people. Then overall, uh, again, on the left side, the Action API, if you're uh, getting the data for a particular entity, 
uh, like Q11, then this is a fairly deeply nested structure. And if you do the same for the REST API, you can see that it's a bit more flat and um, a bit more readable, arguably. Then if you look at the individual statement data, um, in the uh, action API, you would have, uh, for example, a main snake field uh, that you no longer have in the uh, REST API. Uh, the same for the um, main snake hash and data type, uh, data values type. And uh, there is a new property uh, top level field and a new value uh, field added uh, that contains the ID and data type for the property and the uh, content and the type for the uh, value. And in, in those responses, you always get all the fields um, returned, even if some of them are empty uh, to, to make it more consistent. Now, if, uh, if you look at the metadata you get back when, um, when doing these requests, we no longer uh, return the page ID and the namespace and the title field. Um, we have moved the revision ID and the um, date it was last modified to the HTTP response instead. So you no longer get it in, in this response. And uh, the same um, for the success state, like uh, has your request succeeded is no longer in the um, in the data itself, but instead in the HTTP response code. Again, making it a bit more um, what like what people are used to. Then um, let's look at editing. When you're trying to set a label, for example, or a description, um, then in the action API, it would uh, work like at the top here uh, in this URL. And in the REST API, you um, use the uh, labels and or labels in the items endpoint, and then you submit the label you want to set and potentially a comment, so the edit summary. And then in the response, you get your new uh, label that was set. And then uh, if you are creating a new statement, it works similarly. Um, in the new API, you submit your statement with the ID for the property that you want, as well as the uh, value and value type that you want to submit. And then you get your whole um, new statement returned to indicate that uh, your request was successful. Then, um, and this is uh, not possible this way with the action API, but with this new and very powerful in the new REST API is patching. So here, what you can see is we are trying to patch an item um, and we're trying to uh, patch its labels. So for example, we are submitting here um, a request to remove the uh, Swiss German label and to add a new uh, British English label and to replace uh, uh, American English label. And then we get back uh, again, the new labels in those languages that we uh, set. Now that, um, that you've seen all that, uh, you might also uh, notice that, of course, this is not a complete API, not all the operations you might uh, imagine to do on Wikidata, you can already do with it. Um, it's a it's a first uh, step towards that, while already still powerful. So what um, what is next on the <laughs> on the horizon? The ability to modify aliases of both items and properties, um, getting and modifying site link data on an item, um, improving some of the error responses that the API returns right now as well as uh, properly versioning this API. And with that, uh, you got a very quick uh, walk through, through the new REST API. And I uh, hope that uh, some of you will try it and uh, build something cool with it. If you do, please let me know. And if you have any feedback um, to help improve this new API, 
please do leave us feedback here on uh, on Wikidata at Wikidata colon REST API. Um, we would really appreciate it. And I'm happy to take any questions you might have. Thank you. Thank you, Lydia. So um, let's open up the questions to the floor. Um, while people are thinking about questions, we have one question in the chat by uh, Nicholas. Question is, could claims be a valid alias for statements for us, the older Wikidata shows? Sorry, can you repeat that? Could claims be a valid alias for statements? If you look at the data model, there is a philosophical difference um, between them. Um, so for example, um, one of the differences is uh, references. So to make it simple, a claim with a reference can make a statement. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we have another question by Simon. Um, what authentication method is used? Yes, uh, you can uh, go to Wikidata colon REST API. There, among other things, we explain how to authenticate with the API, um, but it's basically auth. Yep, you have received many thank yous from both uh, questions. And uh, Nikki has a question. Uh, I just read from uh, Nikki's question. My main question is, why did you change data type without a hyphen, one word, to data hyphen type? That makes it more awkward to use in JavaScript. So that's the yes. first question. You're not the first one to say this, and I will take it back again. Um, to, to the people who, who have been working on it, uh, mostly. Um, yeah, yes, granted. <laughs> OK, thank you. Um, Chris Baum also asked a question. Is editing Lexims possible yet? So far, no, um, because we need a new uh, endpoint for uh, editing Lexims, but that is pretty high on my wish list, of course, as you can imagine. <laughs> but um, so the, the things I mentioned here uh, have to happen uh, before before that can even get started. Um, and also, uh, we would like to see some more feedback um, on the current um, endpoints for properties and items. So we get a better feeling of how, um, how people like it, if they're are weird things like Nikki mentioned um, that we should improve before we add uh, support for more entity types like Lexemes. Okay, great. Uh, we have a question from John. John asks, does Wikibase REST API support all namespaces, including Lexemes and entity schemas? That's basically the same question. Yes. Same answer. <laughs> <laughs> In the wish list. Okay, um, I do not see any more questions coming in. Maybe we just give about 10 more seconds for some people if you have any question. Ah, yes, there's another question from uh, Chris Baum who asks, is the REST API easier to handle for Wikimedia servers than the Action API? Um, I'm not sure. Um, but it should make that much of a difference. Um, so for example, one of the reasons uh, we have the REST API is to make it easier for people to switch to it who are currently using the query service for something that doesn't actually need the whole graph. So if, um, if you just want one statement on one item, you don't need the query service. It's, it's way too big a, a tool, right? And it's, um, we would like people to do that in the future via the REST API, preferably because it is less um, uh, burdensome on, on the service than doing that via the query service. Thank you, Lydia. 
any more questions from our participants in the room? If not, I would like to reiterate my request. Please try it out. Uh, give us feedback. And if you have built something, even if it's just a um, little demo app, I would love to, to hear about it. OK, um, there's one question. It just came in, Lydia, uh, by mm -hmm. John. The question is, will the current MediaWiki API be eventually deprecated in the upcoming years? Yeah, so definitely not soon. Um, but it is indeed um, not viable long term to to maintain both of these APIs for us, right? We very strongly believe that this is um, uh, a more future proof uh, API. Um, but if it when if and when it comes to that, uh, we will have uh, announcements and long migration periods and so on because we know that a ton of things depend on on the existing API. So that's not happening anytime soon. Okay, thank you, Lydia. Um, there's another question uh, by Nicolas. Is there a central page for later question? I think meaning to say that is there a place or a page where you know, yes. the community can post questions regarding the REST API? Yes. So definitely on Wikidata colon REST API, the talk page there um, is monitored, um, but also happy to take some questions on Telegram, for example, but ideally on the on the talk page of Wikidata colon REST API. That's great. Any further questions from our lovely people here? <laughs> <laughs> no? If not, then maybe I have one little question for Lydia. Um, mm -hmm. Lydia how, yes, you mentioned earlier on that you uh, hope that the community will be able to, you know, test it out and, you know, provide feedback later on. Um, uh, but is there any way where the community can also, you know, the members who are here can also, you know, spread the word and also share with other members of uh, the community that, you know, uh, this is absolutely the, <laughs> um, uh, shout it from the rooftops. Tell tell people who in the past maybe have talked to you about building something cool with Wikidata, and then we're like, oh my god. Um, Maybe share it with them, and, and maybe um, this is this is easier for them to to grasp and and use. Yes, that's great. <laughs> yes. Okay, I think um, there's uh, no further questions from the audience in this room. Then, in that case, um, yeah, thank you, Lydia, for the thank presentation you. and sharing this. Uh, REST API, and thank you everyone for your participation and your questions as well. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. I'd just like to share that the uh, next session will take place in about uh, less than... Okay, I just just check in case I've missed any uh, last minute question. Uh, the next session will take place um, in about 20 minutes time. So we have a short break until then. And um, the session topic will be, let me just check to make sure I'm correct, a semi-automatic tagging of images on Wikimedia Commons. So I look forward to see everyone later. See you.